Hello and welcome to the other part of my Aston Martin video. You joined me and my landlord Alex at the Aston Martin factory in Gaydon because we were having a factory tour. Now there's only so much I can show you inside but I was still able to get quite a bit of footage to make a video so I really hope you enjoy this guys. Right so we are at Aston Martin and as you can imagine there are lots of wonderful cars here. So for example Alex's car is just parked to my left. There we are, and then we've got a Rapidest which has decided to park next to us, which is by no means a bad thing. It's actually quite a nice colour. I'll tell you what's quite funny, because Alex is wearing an Aston Martin racing t-shirt. Come on Alex, let me try. There we are. <laughs> People think he works for Aston Martin. <laughs> <laughs> the, guy, the guy came out, didn't he? Yeah. He, he said, beautiful, beautiful pieces of work. Yeah. And I said, yeah they are, so you should know, you, you build them. I yeah. Like, Do I? Yeah. <laughs> Blagger, that's what you are, Blagger. <laughs> Uh, anyway, let's get inside now. Like I say, oh, I don't know where that's coming from. But it's quite nice. Like I say, I don't think there's a lot inside I'm going to be able to show you, but it should still be uh, good, you know, to, to take you around what well, what I can here. And you know, some of the cars around here in this parking lot are very nice. Here's one of the first cars we stumbled upon: a development DB11, which had quite a few battle scars. The customer. Yeah. So it's probably done. Look at that, there's a six, uh, 65 plate as well. Yeah, I mean, you look at it, it looks in the right state. Like that. Yeah. It's been well used. Yeah. And just look, look at the, um, the details here. Yeah, it's, it's got a few uh, scrapes to it, hasn't it? Do you reckon this has been around the Nürburgring? Quite possibly. Oh, Segato, that's for one, mate. That is for one. Is that grill? That is gorgeous. Is that grill, though? Yeah, it's got a camouflage grill, which is um, a little bit unusual. Yeah, I'll tell you what, this car is really dirty, but on lens, on the camera, it looks really clean. Well, from what I can see through the lens, but this car is covered in dust and pollen. But this is the famous Segato. Not many, not many were made. Uh, 99 coupes, 99 Volantes. And they recently made a shooting brake and a speedster. But the speedster, they only made about 20 or so. I think it's about 27, 24. A really random number. Yeah, these things are gorgeous. Just look, the double bubble roof. Alex, I'm going to test you. Do you know why Segato used that? That design? No. So it allows drivers to get in with helmets on. Oh, nice. There we are. As a I mean, just look at this little design. pub back look for at you. This. Yeah. To be honest, it's very reminiscent of GTR. This. Have you noticed that? When you look at it. No, you, you know what? I hadn't thought about it that. It's very yeah. GTR, isn't it? Yeah. Look at that. Thing is, we've got to um, on the way back, on the way out. Oh look, even more, even more. Yeah. yeah. Look under. Yeah. You know what? That. I don't think I've ever seen one of these on the road. Do you know how much they are? They're Go seven, on. 750,000. No. Yeah. That's how expensive they are. They haven't sold many because of that. But they well, are. There's a lot of money. Let's have a look are, around the back. Um, That's quite a big car, isn't it? It's a Ford, yes. You don't really realise it until you actually walk around it. Do you remember the old ones? Of the, um, yes. Old Yes, I can't stand the original you Lagonda. The boxy. Yes, boxy. it looks like it's designed with a ruler, and that's it. <laughs> uh, but yeah. you know what? You know they are becoming quite collectible nowadays. Oh yeah, they're not they're not cheap. No, no, you know, I I personally think it's the ugliest car Aston have ever made, and I think it's hideous. If I'm going to be completely honest, mm -hmm. you know, but it's well, it's, I, it's coming they, to fashion. Yeah, but I'm glad they kept the um, Lagonda name the part there. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, Alex, whilst we're here, let me let's have a quick closer look at this. Uh, Chrome Vantage. Oh yeah. It's not really to my tastes, but. I actually quite like it. I like I like the alloys. The alloys are nice. I actually quite like it. So let's turn you around, guys. No. So guys, yes, no. What do you think? Um, it may be an Aston, but for me, I'm afraid it's a no. But yeah, eats to their own. That's quite nice with the red detail, oh, yeah. and the splitter. I like that. Random Range Rover. Like the colour. What the middle, uh, the middle one. one? Yeah. Beautiful, isn't it? I actually really like the white with the black roof. Yeah. That's really nice. I like that. It's, yeah. Looks classy. Oh.
are back in the Vantage N420. And guys, I have to say, that was fantastic. How was that for you, Alex? Oh, stunning. Like, you know, couldn't ask for a better day, really. No, Turn. really, really good. Yeah. And it's so intriguing to see so many different colors of Aston Martins going down the line. Uh, obviously, you know, quite a lot of the cars are bespoke, so you can choose what levers you can have. There's one that was going to China that had a, well, a lot of people didn't like it. I didn't mind it. It was kind of like, oh, um, it was, it was odd. It's a dark red. So the upper part of the dashboard was dark red and the lower bit was kind of like a bluey purple mm. and it had like a cherry red carpet, mm. a very unusual mix. I kind of liked it and that's yeah. going, to, going to China and there's so many different colors in there and it's fantastic. Obviously with it being a working floor, I wasn't able to film any of it, but hopefully with some of the stuff that I did get inside in the sort of, sort of historic bit and so forth, hopefully you, you were able to enjoy that. But other than that, we're gonna end it there. Uh, thank you very much for watching and a big thank you for Alex for sorting out, uh, sorting this out for me. Because right. um, if, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> oh, a bit bumpy. Uh, but yeah, so thank you very much for watching. Thank you to Aston Martin as well. Um, please subscribe for more car obsession videos to come.